What's going on guys, it's Onion here, back with some more Bush Online, so let's get into it. So we'll be doing some Wake Mundo attack with some commentary um, and just talk about other stuff along the way. So something that has been bothering me for quite some time is Koga. Koga? I can call her, yes. Koga. Koga has been bothering me because not that many people or not that many higher VIPs have Koga and I find it very strange especially if you are a PvP and like your, your PvP team is basically your PvE team Koga is very helpful because the dude AoEs um, and he can recover his tree by basically 100 150 when he crits so yeah that so that but basically Koga is actually a very good partner, and I don't see that many people have him now. The reason why I say this is because, like, looking at Koga's skill and his growth and his abilities, he's actually a really awesome partner, and he AoEs at that. And he's actually very OP for PV PvE in a sense, because do your Ryoko, for example. When you do Ryoko with um, Koga, right? He can literally fury every single turn, I mean, not turn, turn or round because he recovers his fury by 100. And that's something, you know, that can actually benefit you a lot more. So I don't see that many, um, you know, top players or PV, like just top VIP players in general with Koga. But just to get out of the way, let's talk about some other stuff. So. The um, main reason why I'm just doing way cool with commentary because it feels like I, I don't I think I haven't posted maybe like two three days so I, I decided to do some commentary at that because I'm home alone um but yeah that's a pretty nice team I like that we have is actually a very great PV um partner if you can't be up here do do it because he's actually very freaking powerful especially when you um, like stack him and you give him his um last mod which when he when he dies he um, attacks everyone pretty awesome part right there Ooh, Muramasa. oh yeah the question should i get muramasa or zangetsu right now i have 7.6k byte if i'm not mistaken and i was wondering if i should get either muramasa or zangetsu now judging by my team should I get more muscle? Because I know more muscle gives damage rate to everyone, but only speak to the supporters. Then I get to give speed and damage rate to the assaulters and damage rate to the supporters and bomber at that. <coughs> Funny, and as I'm not going get to one time. Hopefully, I can actually see his skill to make sure to to see if he attacks everyone. Let's see. But yeah, should should, should I get them get to or um? Muramasa. I actually like I, I'm actually going for Zangetsu. Damn. I'm actually going for Zangetsu. Um but Muramasa is, isn't that bad for Zanpak to like the formation which I'm gonna be fighting right now, the girl the person I'm gonna be fight, fighting right now, best Muramasa suits her best. But I wanna know that for a team like mine who a team who is at like one two two, should I get Zangetsu or Muramasa? Because I don't plan to go one three one or one one two one 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 three anytime soon unless you know get a better um a good assault a second assault or, or, or I can use horror belt but I won't do that because Yamo is actually pretty good. But yeah, should I get Zangetsu or Muramasa? I'm actually going for Muramasa instead just because you know Muramasa is actually a pretty I'm oh, sorry, Zangetsu said I'm actually going for Zangetsu because I feel like he is um, a more suitable person for my team. Damn, Kido. But yeah, should I get Zangetsu or Muramasa? That's the actual question. I want to know, answer that in the below because I'm actually going for Zangetsu instead. But if I get Muramasa, I, if UBP becomes an Ivy of Bite, then of course I'll just get. um. I'll just get, what's his face? 
Murmasa, if Murmasa comes in UP and I have no white, I'll just get Murmasa, but if the next UP is and get to come, but usually what they do is that they do jump up to or partner, like if they do a jump up to now, then they'll do a partner next, or whatever it is, so yeah, just let me know if I should get Zangetsu or Muramasa for my current team. Ah, we did. Oh, dude, can I come over and actually eat this dude? 12k block. Yeah, then 1k. Let's see if he can block him again. If my combo wins this, I'm gonna actually be freaking amazed because. Like, he can't crit my Komor. I know for a fact that like, he cannot crit my Komor. My Komor has 105.8% counter, so I know that he cannot crit him. But I just wanna, you know, and especially since he comes he with his own HP by 19k, I really wanna know can he actually beat this dude? Hmm. Get blocked, Nice, 4k. Um, okay, okay, can he actually do it? Please tell me he. Um, Kazuchini skills one more time. Please tell me if Kazuchini skills one more time. Damn. Oh, so it's, it's unless you can block him. Get blocked. Get blocked. He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. Get blocked. Get blocked. Why is he coming with the dog? He's dead. Oh my god. Talk, boy. Please get blocked. Yes, okay, 10k. Can he actually do it? That's the question. <gasps> Yo, yep, Kumar is Zach. Oh, wow, my Kumar. But yeah, I'll just end the video right here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, smash that like button in the face. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you can do that, that'd be great. My name is Load. And as I always say, have yourself a great, awesome, productive, everyone over day. See you guys in the next video.